Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Alexandra here. I'm rocking the yellow eyeshadow today. I rarely ever wear fun eyeshadow, but I'm doing it today. It kind of reminds me of the whole 2004, 2005, 6 MySpace era. My friend used to rock the yellow and uh, hot pink eyeshadow all the time. I was more of myself a teal and aqua blue. You had to be there, okay? Yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. It's just a shade from my Morphe 39L Hit The Lights palette. It's kind of fun, kind of like it. Uh, I don't think I'd wear it every day, but I'm feeling it today compared to like my always predictable basic bitch neutrals. I love a good neutral. Anyways, today I'm gonna be doing my uh, update for my project 10 pen or powder 10 pen or whatever I called it um, for 2024. This is my rolling style project pen. I picked 10 powder shades and my goal is to just hit pan on all 10 this year. And then as I hit pan on them, I'm going to be rolling in something new. We do have something new rolling in this update. So that's super exciting. And I'm not quite sure what it's gonna be. I think I'm just gonna decide Ten, at the end of this video, I have two things that I'm kind of debating between, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. And I'm just going to show you my progress. I also wrote down all my um, like usages, which I don't ever do, but I did for this year for this project. So we're going to get into that. I've written everything in my little book of spells. Isn't this cute? This is this year's um, like my agenda planner, you if you will. So I write all my project pan stuff in my planners. Uh, and this year, this is the one super cute. I can link this on it Etsy if you want to see it. It's cute. Really cute. So let's just get right into it. the first thing that I want to talk about. It's actually in my Z palette. This is from Touch of Glam Beauty. I cannot read the uh, title of it. I don't have my glasses on. And you're gonna see no change on this shade because I didn't use this once, which is so disappointing. I meant to get some use on it in February and I just, I just didn't, which is super tragic. I really need to focus on this next month. So yeah, zero uses on this. I will say also, anywhere was terrible for makeup wearing. I just wore like a full face like maybe seven days and then February wasn't really much better. I think I wore a full face like around 14 times. So it's slow going, but like I said, we do have one rollout this month, so that's good. But this one unfortunately didn't get any use, so there's that. I am working on the uh, translucent powder from my Physician's Formula All Star and I will be showing like uh, pictures also comparing to like where they were when they started. Uh, this was actually fun, this palette. I was uh, I brought this with me when I was like doing a little bit of traveling in February. So this got a lot of use on it overall, um, even other shades in the palette, which was fun. Um, like I said, I've been working on the translucent shade. I used this 19 times in the last two months. And there it is. There's still no pan and it's like, wearing away pretty evenly. So that's just something to be noted. I did use this highlighter a couple of times in the last month in February. I used this bronzer a couple of times. I even tried the, um, like, I guess it's a highlighter rose petal, the gold shade. I dipped into that one time. So got a little bit of use like on the palette quite a bit. I don't really like this setting powder or translucent powder. It's not great, but we're, I'm working on it and it's okay. I wouldn't repurchase that powder. The next is a shade from my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This was my Project Pan or my Pan That palette a few years ago. So there is quite pan on some other shades in this palette, but I'm working on the Tempted shade. I'm gonna see if I can not blind you. And that's the shade right here. It's like a taupey brown. Um, you can see there's a pretty big dip happening in it now. I used it seven times to hit pan on a shade from this palette. It's a basic, easy, everyday shade. So it shouldn't be too difficult in theory, but like not wearing a lot of makeup and these Urban Decay shadows are really densely packed, so. I 
A shade from my Ooh La La Pink ColourPop palette. Had this for several years. I decided to pick like the easy shade, which was like a pressed glitter, crumbly shade called Tickled. I was using this mostly as like an inner corner situation. I used this eight times in the last two months, so could be better. I thought I was gonna have pan on it actually, but I didn't uh, just because the formula is so crumbly, but I didn't. So still working on that. This is my Hula Benefit Bronzer. It's just a mini guy. I used this eight times in the last two months, so not like a ton. I do enjoy this bronzer, but I prefer a shimmery bronzer. Uh, I am wearing a few of these things today, including this, but I'm not counting it towards like those eight uses. That will be for the next update. No pan. It's gonna take me a while for this. A single here by Naked Cosmetics in like a gold shade. It's called Mother Nature. I didn't dip into this a whole lot. This is a really big um, eyeshadow shade. I used this shade five times, so not a ton, and there's like not a lot of like progress. So, bronzer, let's talk about this. I have been hate panning this for several years. This is a bronzer like from winners or something and it's called miss cop it's the brand <laughs> so it's a very orangey bronzer not my favorite i did use this like 14 times in the last two months i have probably used this at least 100 times in the last year and i don't need a lot because it's like the, not a great shade match for me but it's gonna be a while and it's a huge bronzer so you know, uh, I probably shouldn't be hate panning it, but I'm just like so like frugal that I hate wasting things and like I can make it work. It's not my favorite, but I'm still working on it. I don't know how long this is going to take. Probably a while. This is a highlighter makeup by Mario. I love this highlighter. This is in Opal. I only use this five times in the last two months. It's really, really pretty. I'm wearing it today. Um, I love it. It's a very soft formula, so I anticipate that it shouldn't take that many more uses to hit pan. And there is like a dip happening in it, but didn't happen for this update. And then I am working on two shades for my 39L Hit the Lights palette. Very exciting. I've been working on this palette one shade in particular for a long time and i'm trying not to do a spoiler for you because obviously this is where my pan is from i do have uh, an eyeshadow that i'm working on in here and a highlighter let's talk about the eyeshadow first and that is a basic neutral i've used the basic uh, eyeshadow in my type i believe it's called um 14 times in the last two months that's this shade here. You can see there's quite a big dip happening. I did dip into um, like one other shade while I had it while I was traveling. So that's like kind of good that I did also use that brown shade that was right beside it. And finally, the shade that has a pen. It's disgusting, so bear with me. The highlighter shade that has been in my project pan for a while. I've been working on this for like a year now. Can you see it? Can you see the pan in that highlighter? We're talking about this one here, so. There is some pan. So that's really great. It's disgusting. Um, I've had to be, I've been using it with like my finger for the last year. It doesn't pick up well with a brush. I've been using it with my finger, like I said. It took me 13 times, 13 uses to hit pan on it. And then I used it one more additional time before today. So happy. 
I am so pleased to finally roll out that highlighter. Uh, I've hated it. It's not my favorite. I don't like the formula. I don't really like the way it looks on my face, but I've hit pan and I was like really focused on getting pan on that because I basically had it in my um, project pan last year, the entire year. So it took me this long to get to this point. So I'm glad that that's the first one. It shouldn't have even been in this project. I should have hit pan on it last year, but these things happen. So with that being said, I have a couple of things that I want to work on and I was going to put in like a yellow highlighter, but I don't think I'm going to just because there's this highlighter that I'm working on in the project already. And in theory, I probably could use this eyeshadow as a highlighter that's in the project already. And I do sometimes use the Ooh La La as a highlighter. So, and also that like single shade um, from Touch of Glam Beauty, that probably is a highlighter shade too for me. So I don't think I wanna put any more highlighters in this project, but that was a contender for this project because I have been lusting after a yellow gold highlighter to be playing with, but I think I'm gonna pass. Decided that I'm, it may not be very exciting because I've been working on this palette for a long time-ish, but I'm gonna pull another shade from my 39L, hit the lights palette. So this is the palette, you've probably seen this, you've seen, I know you've seen this a million times. Any guesses on what shade I'm going to use or roll into this project? I am going to roll in the yellow eyeshadow. I really thought that I was gonna use that yellow highlighter, but you know what, this is like such a fun spring kind of look that I'm like, you know what, maybe I will be using more yellow eyeshadow in my future. And it's also like a great shade for like creative looks. Um, there's not a ton of use on it already. There's like a slight dip. I don't know if you can see it. I've probably used this shade like three times since owning this palette, but I'm really gonna like push myself and get out of my comfort zone. So that's the shade that I'm gonna be rolling into my project pan. And it's called 2AM is the shade name. Now I don't know if I'm like setting myself up for failure with throwing in a yellow eyeshadow. We'll see. You might be seeing a lot of creative looking makeup. See how much I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna just throw it in there. Um, it's a change from like my usual neutral shades. So this is fun and like makeup should be like fun and it should be exciting and you should just like enjoy it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm throwing in the yellow shade. We'll see. The formula on this palette, of course, it's like a Morphe palette, isn't great. Uh, you do have to like reapply and really pack in if you wanna have like a bright look. That may be to my advantage if I wanna like really pack a punch with this yellow. See what other shades I can try to hit pan on. I'm hoping I have at least one more rollout for next update. Two would be great, but my makeup wearing is really not a lot as of right now for the year. So is everything for my project pan update for the last two months. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this yellow shade. Do you think it's fun? I like it. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.